All right, for this quick recap, I wanted to talk about NVAX, NVAX. It's been a hot ticker recently. Just thought I would talk a bit about it. So uh, about a week ago, comes out with a lot of news all on one day. It was an earnings winner. They got 388 million funding and talking about how they're going to present COVID-19 vaccine candidate. So there is just a bunch of catalysts all on one day. So gapped up. 25 and it hit 45 on that day and then it developed again really nice wedge setup um, nice entry zone in 39 to 40 had a very strong day and I mean you could have held overnight just because it held its gains so well, and if you did nail a 39 or 40 buy, I mean, you're up $3 a share going to, going into close. It would have been a decent swing. So, there was that trade idea. I mean, you can just see, look at how the TA just lines up so perfectly with uh, the more zoomed in chart. That's just beautiful. So right here, right out the gate, you get the confirmation to go ahead and start entering. That's even better than I thought. Wow. So that was kind of a big miss uh, by me yesterday. Because that was a really nice entry. Wow. Sorry, not yesterday, Friday. Friday. So today's Monday, and it gaps up. And it looks like, I mean, is this a short squeeze or is it fresh longs? Could be a little bit of both, I suppose. Like a combination of both, perhaps. It's quite the run. It just goes from 49 to 61. 61.50, that was quite the run. So I'm going to show the play that I made on this. Just a very small play, 200 shares at 56.58, and I sold it at 57.70. Just going to quickly show my thought process on it. So I was playing it for this trend change. I did not get involved here. But once it comes down and holds, a higher low I took 200 shares right here my thought process on this was well if I take this kinda like this trend change at 5680 I can just risk something like 56.50 like basically right under my entry sort of close enough to where I felt safe and then the plan was I wanted to hold this for a $60 test so I wanted $3 a share on my original trading plan but it just started to get kind of slow and choppy. So I ended up just selling it at 57.70. I locked up $200 on that. For the day, I ended up in the green, $450. So, you know, not the biggest green day at all, obviously. But it wasn't a bad day either because I, I wouldn't say I made any huge error. I just wasn't really feeling anything. So I I really just didn't get involved in anything. There were tons of plays, don't get me wrong, there was tons of plays, but nothing that truly stuck out to me as my style. A lot of the runners that I saw were they just kind of felt overextended to me. I didn't really want to get involved. Might be an excuse, I'm not sure. Uh, but hey, I find it more important to just 
avoid red days and just have consistent green days. And 450 bucks is, is nothing to uh, to complain about. So that's my day. It's my little recap on NVAX there. And hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.